Okay, what we have here is the Yamaha DGX 230 76 key digital piano. It's gonna come with maybe some cables and definitely a piano stand. Check it out here. What I'm looking at online, little thing I'm about to read to you, is roughly mm, $500. Don't pay that much. You don't need to pay that much. I was showing you some stock photos earlier. This is what it really looks like. I don't have you know, camera stuff, but audio, audio, I do have. So this was my first piano. And if you are learning new to the piano, interested in the piano, just want a piano in your room, grab this thing. This thing's fantastic, especially for the price. Don't pay $500. Full prices for fools. I'm going to ask 200 bones or best offer. So let me know. Let me tell you a little bit about this piano. Well, let's just do it like this. I'm going to read this product description until I get so nauseated I can't do it anymore. If you are looking for a reasonably priced piano replacement, look no further than the DGX 230. It is the music student or professional musician's answer to I need more keys. And many music teachers encourage new students to get a keyboard that will grow with their needs. Personally, I've been playing the keyboard for mm, two years on a regular-ish basis, and I honestly don't want to get rid of this keyboard. I really enjoy it. I'm not in the business of keyboard collecting, and I only have two hands, and I'm running out of keys to play. So, this one, Bon Voyage. I got it from a lady who moved to Australia, and now I'm passing it on. It's great. It's fantastic. Does it look as good as the stock photos? Mmm, almost. Couple dings here and there, but hey, it is used, but performance, it will not falter. It is fantastic. Uh, let's read some more of this stuff here. Uh, the DGX 230 delivers on its piano theme with a special mode of fingering called full keyboard mode. So this won't feel exactly like a real piano. It will play like a light piano. It's got half-weighted keys, which... If you get into the whole keyboard thing, it's really good for synths and beginner pianos, basically. Uh, it's, it's great. There's really nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't have that heavy feel. If that's what you're looking for, you may be a little disappointed. But I really like this keyboard. I'm going to say it a million times. Here's the thing. This keyboard has, it says somewhere on here, 480 different sound samples. I'm going to say that one more time. Four. 180. It's a ton. It's a lot. That's honestly more than I used in the two years that I had it. Wrote a bunch of songs with it, learned everything I knew about the keyboard from it, and still maybe only used like 20? Like, let's be real. 400 and something, that's overkill. But for the price, for what you get, you're not going to beat it. It's going to be, it's, it's a fantastic deal. Uh, 30 built-in songs, 70 more included on a CD-ROM that I don't have, so you won't get. Also, you're not getting a sustain pedal. I'm keeping it. It's $12 off of Amazon. The one I have really isn't worth it, and it's got tape marks on it. You don't want it. Get a new one off Amazon real cheap. They're fantastic. A couple of things you may want to know. The chord with this. You are new to the keyboard game or sound game or whatever it is you're gonna need something called a ts chord now i'll show you a picture here in a second ts means tipped sleeve trs tipped ring sleeve if you put the trs i believe it's on the left side here it's the one that has a couple of rings on it i mean i don't know read the picture you're going to lose like half your sound and you're going to be like, why does my keyboard sound terrible when I plug it into an amplifier, blah, blah, blah. It's because it's you got the wrong chord. So just don't make that mistake. If you don't even want to use an amplifier, you don't have to worry about that because those little, uh, oh, I think it tells me what they are. These, this two-way speaker system has separate woofers and tweeters that deliver sound in a crystal clear stereo. Honestly, it sounds great and goes pretty loud. They're not lying. It's pretty good. Uh, bass boost system and whatever. I mean, it's they're not going to be amazing amplifying speakers. You're not going to blow the doors down, but you will definitely annoy everybody in the vicinity of your household, apartment, and or place of residence. If you, you know, turn her up a little bit. 
Uh, you can also use it, by the way, as a MIDI controller. So if you plug this into a computer with a USB B cord, let me show you what that is here. Which, hey, I'm gonna throw that in for because I've got eight million of them, and you know, sharing is caring, I guess. Here's what you won't get from that MIDI controller USB B plugin. You won't get any sound, so if you think that you're going to plug it into your computer and be able to play all kinds of keyboard sounds that comes from you won't. You have to actually plug it in through the regular output. And you can also use, I don't know, get into it. Go get some kind of a, they call it a DAW, D-A-W, and you can play any sound basically on the planet and use this keyboard as the controller. Super quick, super easy. Like I said, for the millionth time, super great for the price. Uh, let's read some more stuff here. Uh, it's got full keyboard mode, like 76 keys. Uh, the other keyboard that I bought here, this is my second one after I felt like I graduated from this one. 88 keys, huge, it's gigantic. 76 keys, still huge. You're fine, don't worry. It's, uh, it, it'll get you, it'll get you done. Uh, it has accompaniment features, it has this little button that I will show you at the end of this tutorial where you will set things down on it, press it by accident, and it will blast, you know, this song, I'll call it for lack of a better word, super loud, into your face, scare you. It's great. It's my gift to you. You're welcome. I don't know why they put the button where they did. I don't know why it sticks up so much. I've never used it one time. It has something to do with accompaniment. It's great. You'll find it. If you buy it, you'll find it. And you're welcome. It scared me more times than I can count on any number of fingers. So, like I said, you're getting a full 76 key keyboard works perfect, has a couple of dings, both the speakers work wonderfully, it's gonna have a TS cord that you can plug it into something even louder. USB-B in case you wanna plug it into a computer. What it's not going to have is a sustain pedal. You'll be fine, trust me. If you do decide to come purchase this and you want headphones with it, well, I've got a few, so I don't know. We'll uh, we'll talk about it. We'll see. Undecided as of now. So I could sit around and read a bunch more stuff to you, tell you it's 32 so pounds and 50.3 times 10.6 times 22 inches, but honestly, I don't care, and I don't think you care either. So let's get to the brass tacks of the keys. Lay down some ivory. I plugged it in and I played it for you here in a second just so you can get an idea of the sound. I mean, it's not the best review you're ever going to get, but hey, this is what this is what you got. So, here's me attempting to play some things on a piano keyboard that I'm looking to part with. Oh, bonus, comes with a little stand that holds your music. I can't read music, so I've never used it. it comes off real easy if you don't want it. Hmm. It's yours for the taking. Check it out. $200 if you would like it. Or best offer. $199. I'm just kidding. Talk to me about it. We'll figure it out. Thanks for checking it out.
Okay, what we have here is the Yamaha DGX 230 76 key digital piano. It's gonna come with maybe some cables and definitely a piano stand. Check it out here. What I'm looking at online, little thing I'm about to read to you, is roughly mm, $500. Don't pay that much. You don't need to pay that much. I was showing you some stock photos earlier. This is what it really looks like. I don't have you know, camera stuff, but audio, audio, I do have. So this was my first piano. And if you are learning new to the piano, interested in the piano, just want a piano in your room, grab this thing. This thing's fantastic, especially for the price. Don't pay $500. Full prices for fools. I'm going to ask 200 bones or best offer. So let me know. Let me tell you a little bit about this piano. Well, let's just do it like this. I'm going to read this product description until I get so nauseated I can't do it anymore. If you are looking for a reasonably priced piano replacement, look no further than the DGX 230. It is the music student or professional musician's answer to a 